welcome back to John and Mandy Go RVing. State Park was established in 1924 and is located in the Hocking Hills region of Hocking County near Logan, Ohio. Welcome to Ohio. The state park has over 25 miles of hiking trails, rock formations, recessed caves, and waterfalls to explore. This is the park office and check-in for the campground. Here you can pick up a free trail map for Hocking Hills State Park. There is a dump station available. The campground only has 47 full hookup sites, so you might need it. In total, there are 172 sites, all pet friendly, and all come with a picnic table and fire ring. There are only 12 rustic sites with no electricity. Potable water is available throughout the campground. We were lucky and we were able to book a full hookup site. Our site number was 41. We liked the site, but it was a little close to the neighbors. The three cabins are not pet friendly and have limited amenities. Please call the park office for details. The cabin labeled SC2 is ADA accessible. There are three recently updated restrooms in the campground. There is also on-site laundry here, right near the pool. Unfortunately, we were a couple of days too early. The pool wasn't quite open yet, but it looks nice. The amphitheater is located near the non-electric sites. There are three playgrounds in the campground. This is the largest. Near, there's also a basketball court, volleyball net, and horseshoe pits. A trailhead to the lake trail and observation blind is located here also. You can also access the lake trail by the group camping area. Very far, there's the lake now. Yeah. I hope. Yeah, it's not taking too long to get down to the lake for this trail, at least on this side. Pretty good incline, though. The trail goes around Rose Lake. It is 75 acres and has a max depth of 25 feet. From here, you can hike a beautiful trail one and a half miles to Old Man's Cave. And on the other side of the lake is a trail that leads to Cedar Falls. That one is also one and a half miles. We were lucky enough to have been greeted by an eager beaver. You just chowing down on that, isn't it? Okay. 
boy, that's a real treat seeing one of these because you don't see them too often. And it's still very well, I'm not so scared of them. You can see them <laughs> with the air bubbles. That was pretty neat. The mountain bike trail has two loops, orange and purple. Each loop is two miles long. The Cedar Falls area includes modern bathrooms, parking, a picnic area with a pavilion, and the Cedar Falls Trailhead. Let's hike down here to Cedar Falls. The trail itself is a half mile long one way trail system with a series of steps at the beginning and at the end of the trail. Cedar Falls was misnamed by early white settlers who mistook the hemlock trees for cedars. This is a North American millipede. They are a common type of millipede, especially east of the Mississippi. They can grow to about four and a half inches in length. I wouldn't suggest picking one up and handling it though. They have a defensive secretion that can cause minor skin irritation in the form of chemical burns. Real beautiful back in here. A monarch.
bodies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we came from my ash cave, came up the trail. Did you? Oh, did Saw you? some deer up here. It was nice meeting you guys. Thank yeah, it was you. nice meeting you all. Have you been to Ash Cave? No. That's oh, our next stop. Go there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, nice. it's fantastic. It's really? Awesome. Yeah. You're making our day longer here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, well, when you I can drive to it, and it's not very far. Okay. Walk. Yeah, Just that's walk to Ash Cave and see that, and then go go back in the car, and then drive up here, and then take take this trail, you know, maybe towards the junction there. You know, where, where it branches off to, towards Whisper Cave and then come back, but we decided to do this instead. And, yeah. So, figure we, we get it done hopefully before the weather returns. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's what we were also, thinking too. Way too many people. Now, did you uh, drive your RV here? Is that, or do you have just a car? Truck. We yeah, have, we uh, just drove. Yeah. Okay. yeah, we started walking the Cedar Falls Trail here from the campground, and we saw the runs were dry on the way here, so we had the assumption that it would be not much of a waterfall when we got here and on our way back we passed someone that was already here yeah, and all right. told us it was good. Increase that stream. <laughs> <laughs> Flash flood. And that's why you don't drink out of the streams. Yeah, that's right? not what I, I, I didn't realize she was going to do that. <laughs> oh well, it's all nature. We were just out in Ohio Pile in Pennsylvania. Okay. Yeah, that's a neat area. Yeah, it is pretty neat. We weren't expecting how cool it would be. It's only so much you can tell by looking on the internet. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was our first time. In the mid 1800s, a grist mill was built above the falls to utilize the water power for grinding grain. Here at the Ash Cave hiking area, you will find modern bathrooms, parking, a picnic area with a pavilion, and the Ash Cave trailhead. The Ash Cave Trail is a half mile one way trail system that leads through Ash Cave which is the largest recess cave east of the Mississippi River. The horseshoe shaped rim of this recessed cave spans over 700 feet and features a runoff waterfall. So this is Ash Cave.
thanks everyone for joining us today and if you found any of this information useful please give us a like and feel free to subscribe take care everyone